Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. In this video, we're going to show you a quick way to hide aspects of the Lendash interface using something called CSS. Now, in case you're not aware, CSS is code that operates behind the scenes on web pages to control how things are displayed. So it controls things like colors, fonts, and positioning of certain items on the page. So what we're going to do is amend some of that using some of the tools that you will already have uh, to make to hide certain aspects. And in this video, what I'm going to do is hide this bit here where it says enrolled on each of these boxes. So to do that, what we're going to do is use something called developer tools. Now, you don't need to be too worried about this. I'm going to talk you through how to use this, but most browsers have them. And if you're on Windows, it's usually the F12 key that will bring that up and it'll look a bit like this. And if you use a Mac, I believe it's Command, Option and J. But you might need to uh, look that one up because it's I don't use a Mac, so it's uh, not something I'm, I'm fully familiar with. So once we've got this open here, it'll look a bit like this, but the one we want to click on is this one here in the top left. And that will take us to something that allows us to click on certain items to find out what they are. So what you'll find is that as you hover over things, they change color. And I'm just going to choose this one where it says enrolled here. And what will have happened is it will have selected the bit of code on the site, both the HTML code and the CSS code here that corresponds to this. So what we'll find is that if we tick or untick certain items, it'll change. So if I untick this, for example, it changes to green. And if I retick it, it changes to blue. And that's the way CSS works. It's made up of these rules and you can you know, untick certain things and, and add certain properties that control the positioning and color and other aspects of this element. So I can see that this changes the color of this item so that means that this item here corresponds to this. So in order to d disable or, or hide this item, I would need to hide this, hide it via this bit of code here in this CSS. So what I'm going to do is select the item here and then press enter to drop down and create my own rule. And then what I'm going to do is type display and then choose from the options here and choose none. And what that's done is hidden the item. So I can see that that's now gone, but that's only hidden in my browser. So obviously everyone else who looks at the page will still see that. What we need to do is get this custom code here to be shown for everyone who visits the site. And what we can do is select that with our mouse and then copy it. So we'll choose copy rule if you're using Chrome, other browsers might have something similar. But what we're basically doing is copying that block of code there so that we can bring it into the theme and um, use it. So just to show you, I'm just going to refresh the page and that will be back again. But in most themes, what you'll find is that when you're logged in as an administrator, you'll have this customize option at the top. I'm using Astra theme here and most popular themes will have this, but you'll choose customize and it'll bring up an area where you sort of looking at the theme and, and giving options to change certain aspects of it, such as things like your header, logos, and things like that. But in most cases, there'll be this option here called additional CSS that allows you to put in your own CSS rules that you want to be applied to your site. So the bit of code that we just copied there, I'm just going to paste in, and we can see that it has actually applied, and it's, it's taken that off here. So that's worked. But before the changes are made, what we need to do is click publish here. And then when we click publish, that rule is applied so that everyone who visits the site will have that bit of code within their, um, well, the, the browser will render that bit of code whenever they visit the site. So if I cross this off and view the page as normal, we can see that that element is hidden. Likewise, if you ever wanted to get that back again, all you would do is do the reverse of that. So you go to customize, 
head back to additional CSS and then just delete that rule and it will appear back, publish the changes. And once that's published, we're back to where we started. So that just shows you how quickly and easily you can edit bits of the interface using CSS. And we hope you find this useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please follow the Training Spark YouTube channel.